Welcome back to my studio. Hope you're ready for some more alcoholing fun. I am having a wonderful time playing with these inks and I'm really liking how they're coming out. So let's get down to the table, play with our inks and see what happens. Hold on. Okay, so again, we're gonna play with inks. So I'm gonna start with hot pink and rose hip. And then we have, those are Picasso and I have Ember from Ranger and Sunset are going to be sort of orangey. I've got Lemon. In my reds, I've got Poppy Red and Ruby. And then in my metallics this time, I've got Red Gold and Fuchsia. So again, just like last time, we're going to lay some colors down, blow them around, get a nice design, and then we'll move on. And you don't have to worry about it drying while you're laying out all the colors because remember you can reactivate and wake up those colors again with your alcohol. So you can just throw some color down and see what you get. And then move them around and play with them. you get something you like as your background then you are ready to move on to your next steps now you need to let this ink dry alcohol ink dries pretty quickly but I would give it at least 15 20 minutes maybe half an hour before you even consider throwing a little Kmart varnish on there and moving on to some next steps because you don't want to move too fast and ruin the whole piece. Never thought I'd feel this high. The sky has never... I'm going to throw some metallics on here. Again, make sure you shake up your metallics really, really well. I'm 
just putting it thinly all around. Sort of getting my piece a nice shine. Sort of a when I look at this, it's still very wet. So you can sort of see where that shininess is. We're just gonna let that dry and we will move on to next steps. Okay, this is now dry and it's very shiny because it's got a thin coat of Kamar varnish over it. And the nice thing about this is if you spray this on, it sets your ink. Your ink is not gonna run and it's not gonna mess with your ink. So that's our base. Now we're gonna play with our stencils again. So I've got out my Pebio, get a um, relief, mix, what is it called? Mix it, Mixion relief paste. Um, I've got this beautiful rose stencil. And I want to put that one right in the middle and then I'm thinking I've got this little rose and I may put some little ones around the big one. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the leaves on, I'm just going to put the flower and I'm just going to sort of do an outline and not fill in. So we'll see how that works. So I think I've got that fairly well centered and we're just going to go for it. So all we're going to do is run a line inside the stencil right along the edge of the stencil so we get the design. The objective is not to touch the stencil wall, if you can help it, because you don't want it on the stencil. And inside the stencil and we're just going to get this in here. Also putting that glue, that varnish on first prevents the glue from messing up the inks and mixing in with the ink. I will be a lifeline. 
Everybody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, I know. Keep coming back for your time after time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind, no. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove, yeah. That baby, I got you. Okay, now we're just gonna let that sit and dry and we'll see what happens. Hold on. Okay, now our glue is ready. You can see that it's, it's all clear. I'm hoping it hasn't dried too much. The center was taking so long to dry that I was worried that the outer ones. So, going to get our foil sheet. All right, so this is my gold, and this is a backed foil, unlike the last one I had, which was just straight foil. So it's gonna be a little easier. So we're just gonna place that down. We're gonna use our brush to press it. Where it is. We're gonna peel. Let me see if it works. If it doesn't, well, oh, it's literally taking the glue right off. This is not good. I might have waited too long because this is just tearing. Oh, it's making a total mess. All right, hold on. I gotta see what's going wrong here. Okay, for those of you sitting there going, no! I actually put the foil upside down because I was using the other type last time and I wasn't thinking straight. So I have pretty much messed up this inside one and we'll have to do it again, but I can still work on the outside ones. I actually put the foil on upside down. I had the backing, which of course stuck to the glue and pulled the glue off instead of pulling off nice like that. So we're just going to do the outside ones as best I can, now that I've sort of muffed this. And uh, oh yeah, see these are coming out fine. And then I will re-stencil the inside since I screwed that one up and wait for that to dry again and then we will build that one Okay, I've redone that stencil, and we're gonna let that dry, and then we'll put it on. Rookie mistake there. When you're using the backing paper, you want the shiny side up and the dull side down. Oopsie. All right, hold on, we'll wait for this to dry. Okay, this is ready to go. Now I'm gonna try this piece, even though a lot of the foil is gone, but I don't wanna waste it, so we're gonna use as much of this piece as we can, and then we'll get another piece out if we need to. it until it's what you wanted it to be. Oh, that's so much nicer. All right. All right, let me give you a close-up of this one. Now what I will do is I'll let this sit for a little bit and then I will spray this again with the varnish 
to seal that foil down. Okay, <clears throat> I sprayed this with a coat of the Kamar varnish to seal that foil down. And I've decided it needs just a little bit more. So I'm putting on my mask. <clears throat> and I've got out my goldy pigment powder and a fine little brush. And we're just gonna play just a little bit. Add a little sparkle. So let me get my mask on. And off we go. I just wanna add a little more shine. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art Get this powder where you don't want it it's very easy to remove you can take a baby wipe or even just your finger just wanted to bring those flowers out just a bit more and I'm liking that Okay, now I'm going to spray that again to seal that pigment and we will be all done. Let me give you a little close up of that. Look at that shine. Woo. Oh yeah, okay, let me spray that and I'll give you the final results. Okay, I have the final results and I am really happy. Oh, I put it in a pretty gold frame. I'm getting a lot of glare off the glass, so I'm now wishing I'd done this before I put it in the frame. But I have my beautiful flowers that are gilded and dusted with pigment on top of my beautiful inks. Oh, so pretty, my little rose garden. 
I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you so much for being here and joining us on the Local Monday train. After me is K&K Create, and after that is Angie Mason from Angie's Fluid Art with a live. So you can get those links in my description box, and I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful week, everyone.